A multiband 1176? A multiband G-Bus compressor? What sorcery is this? Hi, welcome to the Crates Motel. My name's Conan, and in this video, I'm going to show you a technique in Personas' Studio One, which enables you to create your own multiband compressors. But believe me, it doesn't end there. So here we are in Studio One. Now the technique I'm going to initially show you is not a new technique, I didn't invent it. It's quite a well-known technique and there have been videos about it before. Basically what I'm going to do is show you how to set up a multiband compressor using stock compressors inside Studio One. So initially, if we add a splitter to the effects channel, and we're going to use three compressors, so we want to change this to three. Now if we just add the stock compressor, and then on a PC, if you hold down out, you can just drag some more copies. Now let's go back to the splitter. Uh, now what we want to do here, obviously, is we want to drag these into place after the splitter. So we have compressor one, two, and three. So now that is a simple multiband compressor. I click on the splitter and change it to frequency. And now we can change the frequencies of each compressor. So compressor one, I'm going to have up to about 200. Compressor two, I'm going to have to take care of the mid range. So I'm going to take that up to about, let's say, just over 2K is fine. And then compressor three will take care of anything after 2.15K. So let's just listen to the drum beat that I've got here. So if I now mute each compressor, you'll be able to hear what it's doing to each compressor, basically. So that's the low end. This is the mid range from 195 to 2.15. And then this is the high end from 2.15 onwards. So it stands to reason that basically any adjustments that I make on each one of these compressors is only going to compress the frequency bands that we've selected. So with compressor one, for instance, I can just affect the low end. Just take the attack up a little bit, Let's take the release back a little bit. So right now that's only compressing the bottom end. So if I now go into number two, I can just affect the mid range. And then obviously number three is just gonna affect the top end. So there you go, that's a pretty simple technique to set up a multiband compressor using stock plugins in Studio One. Like I said, I didn't invent it, there's been videos on it before, it's something that people have been using for quite some time. Um, but the thing was, once I discovered this technique, to be honest with you, I'm quite new to this technique because I only started using Studio One probably about six, seven months ago. Uh, and this splitter was actually one of the reasons why I started using it. But when I discovered this, I thought to myself, well, that's great, I can set up a multiband compressor. But to be honest with you, I do already have some multiband compressors. I use FabFilter, I use Waves, and several other third-party plugin companies. But what I thought was, can I use third-party plugins in the same way? So instead of the stock compressor, can I put in a Waves 1176? Well, you can. And here it is, that simple. I took exactly the same technique, but I replaced the stock compressors with Wave CLA 76s. You can use any 76. Basically, you can use any compressor. So here I have a multiband 1176. It's that easy, just using that technique. Here I have the bottom end CLA 76, the mid range 1176. You can see it's just picking up on the claps and snare drum. And then the high end, I can push a little bit more signal into that. And it's that easy. And yes, you guessed it, 
here is a multi-band SSL compressor. Again, that easy. I literally just put three SSL bus compressors in exactly the same place where I had the stock compressors. So here we have the low end, mid range, turn that up, and the high end. That easy. But then I started thinking to myself, well, multiband compressors are great, but what about multiband saturation or multiband clippers or multiband limiters? Then I really started having fun. So yes, you guessed it. Here it is, my multiband clipper. Now I have several clipper plugins, but I've chosen the Ven free clip because it's free, which means, you know, anybody can download it. I'll stick a link underneath the video. So a brilliant clipper. Easily as good as some of the clippers I've paid for, some of the top clippers that I've paid for, in fact. Free clip is excellent, and like I said, it's free. So I have the low end here. I'll take that right out if I want. I can push it into the clip here in the mid range. Really push that if I want. Top end. I mean, it speaks for itself. It really is that easy. And just to prove my point, here's a do-it-yourself saturation plugin. I've got soft tube saturation, which is another free plugin. Now I can change the saturation type on this. So on the low end, that's just pushing the saturation on the low end. In the high end, and then in the mid-range. And there you have it, multi-band saturation knob. So taking all of that into consideration, I mean, literally the world is your oyster. There's an infinite amount of things you can do. Any of your favorite compressors, saturation, clippers, limiters, you can make your own multi-band version of them. I mean, I find it really handy in mastering, for instance, to just limit the high end or just clip the high end. There's not many plugins that you can do that with, and I certainly can't take my favorite limiter and just limit the high end, but with this technique, I can. And that's it, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more mixing and mastering tutorials and reviews. This is the Crates Motel, my name's Conan, until next time.